Hi guys, next rubber band powered car we're going to make with this soda bottle. But I'm going to spray paint it first. So I'll stick it on there, spray it. I should be able to turn it around so I get all the sides done. I'll give it some undercoat first. And we'll see what we end up with. And that's a layer of white undercoat. So we can go pink, yellow, orange, or blue. And there we go. <laughs> Bright pink. So, we've got a nice pretty pink bottle that we want to convert into a rubber band powered car. Now, this is one of those bottles that's got a nice seam down the side of it, which we can use for reference. And there's also a line goes round here, or a seam, that again we can use for reference. So just there. Oh. <laughs> and just there is where we want to make the holes at that end. At this end, there isn't a convenient line going round where I want it. So, I've got a cardboard box. That didn't work quite as intended. I've got quite a thick black line there, which is going to be no good for guidance anyway. And a bit of the paint's flaked off. So I'm going to hold this still. Right, so I've made my holes. Now I'll use my favourite nail on a piece of wood and melt those holes through to the right size. So I'll go and heat that up, push it through, and that'll give us a hole. I usually film it, but I'm going to save a bit of time. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. I've melted the holes in, so we've got Space for the axle to go through. I've also melted some holes straight down to there so we can attach the rubber band at the front. Next thing I want to do is cut a hole out so we can get down to the axle to wrap the rubber band around the axle. So I'll just do this freehand. Something like that. Something like that. And I'm going to see if I can cut that out using the hot nail as well to melt the plastic. This might take a while, so I won't film all of it. I'll just do a little bit. So you can see the general principle. Remember this nail is hot. Which is why I've got it stuck in the end of a piece of wood. If you're getting coloured flames off it, like we're getting there, I don't know if you can see that, that means there's some plastic burning as well, so you want some good ventilation.
Right, see the general idea. I'll finish that off. There we are, job done. So that's our access to be able to wind up the rubber band. Just the same as I did with the cardboard box car. I've got a couple of short lengths of drinking straw on there to act as spacers to keep the wheels well away from the bodywork. So, rubber bands. Got some already joined together there. More than I need. That should be enough. So, push them through there. Push that. Through there. Hold it all together for us. Do my usual where I just lay the rubber band over the top of the axle, hold it in place, wrap it round until it wraps over itself. I know you can't see because my fingers are in the way, but that's all I'm doing, just wrapping it round till it actually grips the rubber band itself, holds itself in place. You could cut a short piece of barbecue skewer and glue it straight onto the other onto the axle in a T shape and then it's easy to just hook the rubber band over the axle. But that'll do. Got a little bit of a left turn on it, but I think that's good enough. Summary time. What have we got? We got a rubber band powered car made from a pop bottle. Four CDs, eight plastic bottle tops, two barbecue skewers, some rubber bands. I did use some short bits of drinking straw just to space the wheels away from the bodywork so they don't rub. And another little bit of barbecue skewer down through the front there to hold the rubber band in place. Now this one was going to the left a little bit so I took the wheels off again I took the wheels off again and just extended the hole on this side back a tiny bit so that made the axle come straighter because it must have been just a bit further forwards than it should have been which was making it turn left but for that final run, I changed that hole, just melted it. You can hardly see it, but it's just slightly further back than it was. And that straightens up the axle. 